Hello, welcome to a Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff, and today is going to be a Lego haul video. I'm pretty sure you guessed it when you saw this pile of Lego sitting here. Now, this is not a haul that I've made in one day. This is a haul that I've made over the last month. Uh, most of these I did not pay full price for. Uh, in fact, um, actually, I'll tell you the price at the end. Let's just start off with what I got here. The first one I got here was this Friends. Um, this is the Magical Fun Roller Coaster. It's set 41685. It was released last year. 956 pieces and four minifigures. Now this one normally retails for $99.99. I got it for $89.99 because it was damaged, the box. Not very damaged, it's the corners. And I don't really care about that. I'm gonna open it up and use it. And because I'm gonna be doing a roller coaster or a amusement park in my city, I wanted this to be a part of it for the kids section. So this one will be built sooner than some of the rest. In fact, let me just throw the caveat out there that the ones pertaining to my city mock will be built first. In fact, one of them's already built, but I'll tell you why in a minute. So here, here's this one here, the friends. Okay, next we have the downtown noodle shop. And this is set 31131, just released. 569 pieces and two minifigures. I got this at Costco. This normally retails for 40. I got it at Costco for 39, 34.99 each. And as you know, the three in ones, I always buy three because I do each, each version and then do, I do fourth video comparing each one of the versions side by side. So we're gonna do that. And that of course is gonna happen sooner than later because this one is pertaining to my city mock. Okay. This one, well, I kind of already cheated on this one. This one is the classic TV series Batman Cowl. It is set 76238. It was released last year, 372 pieces, no minifigures. Uh, this one, I wasn't gonna buy, to be honest with you. Um, I bought the other ones. As you know, you've seen my videos, and if you haven't, you can go back and watch them. I built all of these on video or live streams, depending on the particular set. But this in particular, I didn't really like it, to be honest. But when I got to the show in Wyoming, when I spaced them out, um, they asked to use my Harry Potter and Hermione large minifigure things that I did on uh, live streams. They asked me to put them over at the Harry Potter section. So I did. That so left a hole. And even with rearranging, I still had a hole. And so after the first night, I went to Walmart there in town in Evanston, and they had this. So I went ahead and bought it because I didn't have it. And I built it there at the show, put it on there. So this will not be on camera because I did it in a hurry. But I did buy this one. It is part of the haul. Okay. Now, you guys know, if you watch this channel, that I'm not a fan of these new road plates. I don't like them because they're only eight wide. And actually, they're not even that because you have the center mark line. They're like seven. And Lego, some of their um, speed champions are eight. Actually, a lot of them are eight. So they don't even fit on here unless you add a little line. But the lug, my, the nut lug that I belong to, that's the name of it, nut lug for Northern Utah, um, Lego user group, they do use them in their collaborations. And I'm doing the collaboration for the November show. So whether I like it or not, I gotta use them. So these are probably gonna be open first. And no, I'm not gonna do a video opening these. These are not exciting. You just lay it out and stick it in front of the hotel. So um, that's gonna happen. And I bought four of them. I would have bought more. Oh, and by the way, I paid $15.99. They normally retail for more than that. Uh, $24.99 is what I've seen at Target. Uh, they were on clearance at Smith's. So again, I didn't pay full price for that. I did pay full price for the Batman, but that's the first one I paid full price for. Okay, next we have this Harry Potter set. And the Harry Potter, this is Hogwarts Hospital Wing. It is set 76398, released this year, 510 pieces and four minifigures. And normally retails for $49. I got it at $40 at the Edmonston Walmart. I don't know why. They had it on sale, just like the, the Batman wasn't, but this was. Same store I got it from, and it was cheaper. This one is going to be one of the last ones I build because it has nothing to do with my city. The TIE Fighter, same thing, has nothing to do with my city. Set 75300. And it was released last year, 2021, 432 pieces and three minifigures. And no retails for $44.99. I got it for $30 at Walmart. And that's because it has damage. But do I care? No. I'm just going to open it up and use it. So the only thing I regret is they didn't have three. Because I would have liked to have built the two and then modified the wings to make Darth Vader's in the center. Anyway, 
I only got, I only had one left, so that's all I got. And this will be one of the last ones I built as well. All right, this next one is a Speed Champions. And as you know, I love the Speed Champions. I love them because they have class. They make your minifigures seem more affluent because it gives them some nice cars to drive. This is set 76909. This is, five, it was just released this year, 564 pieces, two minifigures. It's the Mercedes AMG F1 W12 E Performance and the Mercedes AMG Project 1. So we will go ahead and we will build this one and it is going in the city. So it'll be built with the first group. Okay, this one here is another one that I've wanted to get, mostly because I like the stormtroopers in here. I don't really care for the armored vehicle, but a couple stormtroopers more, hey, never hurt your collection, right? Okay. This is set 75311. It was released last year, 478 pieces, four minifigures, and it's called the Imperial Armored Marauder. And normally retails for $39.99. I only paid $30 for it. Again, this was at the Walmart with this other one. This box is not damaged, so I don't know why it was on sale. Don't care, I just like getting sales. Last and certainly not least is the Ashton Martin 007, set number 76911, and this was just released, 298 pieces in one minifigure. This was full price. I paid $19.99 for this. I like this set because I have the larger one, and I did build it on camera. It is, there is a video. You can go back and watch it. And I very much do like the larger one, but the problem is I can't put it on my city. This version, I can put in my city. So very stoked about that. Very excited to be able to build this and put it in my city. And well, I guess we're just gonna have a 007 running around my city. Anyway, this will be built sooner than the Star Wars ones. And so basically I bought a lot here. I bought, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sets which came out to a grand total of 4,291 pieces, 20 minifigures, and I paid $355.94, which is much less than what I should have paid. But I, um, like I said, I got some deals on each one of these, whether it was Costco, damaged, or whatever. So I'm very happy about that, and I'm very happy you guys can join me for this video. And if you have liked the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. That way you'll know when I put out a video, which is currently almost every day. And I do take a break here and there, but you know. And also, um, you can leave me a comment below. The other thing you can do is you can help share uh, this video on some other social media platform or any other video that you like. Um, I don't have a marketing department, can't afford one, so if you can help me out there, uh, I'd appreciate that. It does help, and this channel is all about the love of Legos. And I have to narrow my love of Legos because the price has gone up, so you're gonna see me mostly collect city or city-related themes. And a little Star Wars here and there, a little Harry Potter, but that's about it. Um, all right, guys. Be good to each other. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you on the next video.